All right, so starting over here with Aldi, and all of this pictured is stuff that I am particularly going to eat myself. My um, partner and our son will partake in some of this stuff too, but this is low-carb keto haul. So from Aldi, I got my um, Halloumi-style cheese fries. I always get these. I should have gotten more, but I only grabbed one. Get some shredded, shredded lettuce because we're going to have tacos tonight. Some Brussels sprouts because I want to meal prep my Brussels sprouts, kielbasa, carrots. Sheet pan. I haven't had it in a while. It sounds really good. The carrots to go with that meal prep and also just to munch on and eat on. Ian really loves baby carrots. And some strawberries. And obviously other things are not pictured. Like... You know, things for the boys, popcorn, chicken, bread, bagels, things like that. I will put the price of Aldi, just what you're seeing right down here. And then, <clears throat> sorry. And then I went to Walmart and I found some pretty exciting things. I finally saw the Real Good Breakfast Bowls. Um, <laughs> I had to get a couple of them. I got two of the Sausage Breakfast Bowl. And then I got one of the Meat Lovers. I wish I would have gotten more of these, but um, it's okay. <laughs> Freezer space is limited, but I got, yeah, I'm really excited to try those. I got some Birch Benders Keto Waffle um, because they didn't have any of the pancake mix, which is fine. Eggs, which are finally going down, which is great, but still expensive. I found the Pillsbury Zero Sugar Classic yellow cake mix and then i just got some frosting to go with that we needed some more minced onion i got some regular lily's milk chocolate baking chips chocolate chips low carb chocolate chips get some of my zero sugar lemonade i've been craving strawberry lemonade lately <laughs> and then i finally saw these in the store i saw these on instagram here a while back i follow like trending like new food groups and things and items and I saw these they also have like a garlic and herb one but I sent a picture to Seth he's like buy both of those so um I have the cinnamon sugar butter spread and then the honey butter spread and I did get more things um than what is pictured here but I will just list what you're seeing in the price down below and then I'm going to show you an accumulative keto low carb junk food haul after I put all this gold stuff away. So I will be right back. I literally forgot a bag in the garage. <laughs> these are as I got at Walmart. So I'll put the total of these things plus the full total, the new full total down here. But I never saw these two things before. I always get these Atkins chocolate peanut candies. They were really good. But I saw that Green Giant came out with zucchini tots well zucchini tots i've had these before but i've never had the pizza flavor so i'm excited to try those and then i've never saw the veggie full um braised cauliflower in teriyaki i've gotten the southwest before and i've gotten the like um cauliflower and broccoli with herb i've never had a teriyaki so that is exciting I was in Dollar Tree the other day, browsing around at things, trying to find a gift for my niece for her birthday. It's um, the first, but her party's the 11th. And I saw, well, Dollar 25 Tree had the vanilla premier proteins and then some of the Bang Georgia sweet tea. This is probably one of my absolute favorite bangs. Um, I will not drink all this in one. Obviously, I can't. It's too much caffeine, but I will break this up over a few days, I think, and I'm really excited that I found it. But the fact that, like, these are normally $3, but $1.25 tree. A four-pack of this is, like, $10, even at Walmart, $1.25. I should have gotten more, but I'm trying to work on not hoarding stuff. But I was really excited with that fine, so I'll put the price right here. Obviously, $5. <laughs> and then, um, <clears throat> this has been kind of like a collective over the last couple weeks i got all this stuff at harvest market it's like um <clears throat> i don't know people call it like a not as cool trader joe's it just has some some cool things 
they buy it from a lot of farmers, a lot of fresh stuff, a lot of fresh meats and all that good stuff and some unique finds. So the first thing I found, they created this brand called Choco Love. I've had this stuff before, but they got in these dark chocolate salted caramel eggs. Um, this really isn't bad to be honest for three eggs is 17 total carbs. I will take it. I'll probably save these back for like Easter. And then I haven't actually saw the smart cakes in a long time and they had them. Um, so I got a raspberry and cream, a chocolate and a cinnamon. These are so good. They also have built bars. I got one coconut and then, oh yeah, this is by Choco Love as well. They came out with like some Valentine's candies, cherry cordial and raspberry rose. Excited. And these also are not awful on the carbs so one third of bar is 18 total carbs but it is what it is and then everybody's talking about these prime drinks um so i figured i would try it six total carbs for the whole bottle 25 calories um yeah protein so i got the tropical punch the strawberry watermelon which people say tastes like a pink starburst and then the blue raspberry um i will try to remember prices of all of this like i said i've gotten this over the last couple of weeks um but it's definitely like a little junk food haul and i'm not going to eat all this in a week guys do not worry do not worry but um yeah i'll try to like get an idea of prices and put it down here for harvest market oh now i think i'm gonna do some meal prep even though i really want to take a nap <laughs>